to johnjohnsonshow.com. Um, I, I get to do a lot of shows. Some of them are good, some of them are not. Uh, I was recently at the sports bar, uh, and not only was there no stage, but they made us perform right in front of the door. Uh, let me tell you, the only thing worse than telling a joke and having someone walk out right past you <laughs> is when most people do that. <laughs> but uh, the guy goes up after me, and he doesn't even bother to do jokes, he's just doing the make some noise thing. He's like, Latinos make some noise, and 49ers fans make some noise. And it's like, dude, there are six people here. <laughs> you can just ask them. <laughs> but then he throws a curveball. He goes, atheists make some noise. So I clap. <laughs> and he stops what he's doing, and he starts trying to bag on atheists. Which is sort of weird, because it's hard to make fun of someone for being right. <laughs> also, I mean, I gotta be honest, I'm not even that big of an atheist. Some people like atheists until the day they die. I'm more of an atheist until the day, until the day I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> like, no argument's gonna make me believe in God, but moderate turbulence on landing? <laughs> turn into a Baptist. <laughs> like, come on, Jesus, you know what I had in my heart all along. <laughs> come on. <laughs> I also don't see the hard point in arguing about religion, because people mostly just say what they were taught as a kid. I mean, honestly, that's what I do. I was raised atheist, but I was raised like, uh, what's like when you're almost an atheist, but not quite? What's that word? I no, Jewish. <laughs> that is Jewish. Oh, this trick in the book. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, cause here's the thing. I don't believe in religion, but I'm not angry about it. Sometimes atheists want to organize, which is weird to me, because it's hard to... I don't understand bonding over something that you're not that into. <laughs> like, I'm not that into Taylor Swift. I assume you're not that into Taylor Swift. But if you told me that, I wouldn't be like, well, I have some literature for you. <laughs> He loves Taylor Swift. He loves Taylor Swift? Oh, yeah. Secretly? <laughs> You've seen his iPod? <laughs> There's nothing but Taylor Swift on repeat. <laughs> I knew you were trouble when you walked in. <laughs> I love <you. laughs> She loves Taylor Swift. <laughs> I, the one, one, one pet peeve I do have, because I'm a former engineer, is people who say they're not religious, but they are spiritual. They'll say things like, you know, I don't believe in God, but I just believe there's energy throughout the universe, and that's what I call God. It's like, you know what else you could call that? Energy. <laughs> <laughs> Energy's real, you don't have to make it up. <laughs> I just believe there's an invisible force that brings everything together. Any guesses? <laughs> Gravity. <laughs> yes, thank you. Sometimes people will be like, oh, I just believe, sometimes I just believe the universe is trying to tell me something. If you believe the universe has intelligence and a plan for you, it's pretty much a god at that point. It's way harder to believe that there's some supreme nebulous being going like, all right, first we're going to have this cluster of quasars merge into a supermassive black hole. Oh my god, what's that? Zoom in. Yeah, we'll get over here. Looks like I'm playing at 1415926539793923. Kelly is wondering whether to get back with Steve. <laughs> Hold on my supernovas. I need to make sure 92.3 FM, the river, please, my heart will go on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm gonna get out of here, for real. Um, I did get a little lucky recently. Uh, I did a show, and a woman saw me at the show and took me home afterwards. Because they... Because yeah. that's an option. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> now, obviously, there's a word for girls like this. Heroes. <laughs> but I learned something, because she actually had a, a, a clit ring. And at first, I didn't even know what it was. I was like, did you really lose an earring? <laughs> But I learned something. I learned that sex feels three times as good for a girl after she pierces her clit. Because you can find it. <laughs> I also learned this. I learned that pineapple juice makes your semen taste better. So I started mixing them together. <laughs> If 
do like pina coladas. Oh. <laughs> I mean, my roommate was like, what is in this? I was like, it's kind of a family recipe. To go brush your teeth. I think that's about my time. Thank you guys very much for your time. Toby Morshado, everybody. Give it up again. JohnJohnsonShow.com